Hey guys, welcome back to Grit and Grace Farm. My name is Angel. If you're new, welcome. Not welcome back. Um, so our last two videos were about building the raised bed and filling the raised bed. And in the course of the time it took for me to edit those, um, Matt did a couple of other projects while I was working on things and I couldn't come record. And so I don't have footage of those things, like him breaking down the carport that we had over here that had been um, downed by a tree right before we signed on this property. Uh, he broke that all down in like two hours and um, got it prepared. We're going to make chicken coops from it. He's going to make chicken coops from it. And while I was at a coffee shop in town um, ordering chickens, yay! I'll tell you about that in a minute. Ordering chickens and editing the video, to the last two videos to put up and uploading them, um, he did this. Not not this part. He did this. <laughs> he and the kids came out and cut the PVC pipes that we had gotten um, to the right size, got them all set up. I'll show you real quick. I don't know the proper names for these. I'll go over to Matt in just a second and have him describe. I do know this is half inch round PVC pipe. And then um, these are, like I guess I don't know the right name for them, but I guess half inch. Um, and then they're connector pieces. So they've got one, two, three, four sides. And so that's what we've got connecting all of these. And he and the kids set these up and they are awesome. And then today's job that he's working on right now is putting up the six millimeter plastic covering that we're going to use to create a simplified greenhouse because while we're having, excuse me, while we're having a couple of warm days right now, we're going to be getting a cold front and we're, we should be going into more consistently cool weather. We're in Texas though. I mean, it's already halfway through January and we really haven't had a whole lot of sustained cold. So I'm not sure what the weather's going to be like, but we're getting it covered that way um, we can get some things going like lettuces and some carrots radishes things like that that can withstand some cold um, we're going to get those going and then we'll have covers just in case it gets really cold because we're going to be planting them in the midst of the cold and they kind of need a certain temperature to germinate so that's why we're going to cover and hopefully maintain enough of a temperature for them to germinate well we'll see how that goes and then in like early march when we are i guess february and early march um when it is cold here consistently then i'll be able to or at least i'm gonna try to plant things like peppers and tomatoes and i'm gonna see if they'll germinate they probably won't but I've got the space. If nothing grows there, then I'll just plant something there when it actually does warm up. I figured it can't hurt to throw the seeds in the ground and figure out if this keeps it warm enough. And um, yeah. So what Matt has been doing, oh, I need to come back over here. So on the ends, he has done, um, he has put tape. Let me show you. So he put tape right here um a piece on the outside and a piece on the inside then he used a hole punch to punch a hole and then he put zip ties in and this will help the keep the six millimeter plastic from tearing so easily in the event that we get any real wind going which happens here fairly often so he's got those all the way down here and one up here and then all the way down the other side and he's going to do the same thing on the other end hi finley and then um, down here, what he's got is he did the double-sided, he did tape on the inside and tape on the outside, and then he put a screw. Um, that way, it will help hold it a little bit. Um, we don't know how well it's going to hold, but this is all trial and error. Um, we know six million six millimeter plastic isn't going to hold up very well against a lot it may only make it through one season but it'll help us get something growing now and so we figured that was worth the effort so i'm going to show you here a clip of him doing the screws on the side <laughs>
Anything you want to say in particular about this process? Hmm? Okay. Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. I'm hoping it works. We haven't we haven't fully figured out, or I haven't fully figured out, I guess it's kind of my job, figure out what we're going to do for the end. But it might just end up being we add a secondary piece of the plastic. And I don't know. We'll figure that out in a minute. So this one um we haven't finished he got it built and we haven't finished filling it um and we're not going to have enough piping to cover that one that one i may just let rest for now um because this is a lot of space that we're not used to having so much space so we'll see what we end up doing with that i'm kind of thinking i want that to be um our corn bed I want to try doing corn in it in which case I need to leave it clear until mid-march or beginning of March somewhere in there which is like you know I think you're supposed to plant it two weeks before your last frost date um so I'm not sure if it's worth trying to plant anything else in there um we'll see but right now I've got some seeds out because I was going to go ahead and plant a couple of things because it's going to get it's going to be kind of warm tonight it, it, today it's like 70 roughly uh, a little humid but we're supposed to be getting rain in the next few days and then it's going to get cold um so i'm not sure what will actually germinate at this point but i figured it's worth trying so so i got just some different carrot varieties to try and um, there's some beets which we don't really eat but I figured it's worth learning to grow and maybe I'll find some kind of use for it or give it to somebody kale another carrot um, another kale some radishes um, a variety of, of a gourmet blend of lettuces and then um, another kind of radish kohlrabi which I've been wanting to try, another kind of lettuce, and then um, a white icicle radish. So um, I figured this would be a good place to start for um, just tinkering with it. I don't really expect to get a whole lot at this point in the year. Mostly we're just, like I said, playing it by ear. Um, this point in the year, I have no idea if I'm going to get anything. But it doesn't hurt to try um, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, no matter what time of the year it is. Um, it might be worth just throwing some seeds in some dirt and seeing what happens. This is our first year up here in East Texas. It's a different growing zone. Um, a whole different situation with the raised beds. I have a lot of space to grow things. And so it's worth it to us to just drop the seeds in and see what happens and learn from it. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to do that.
guys, it is a few days later. Um, we had family come into town, and so we kind of just stopped working out on the garden stuff. And it wasn't fully set up yet. And of course, within a day or two, we had a nice hearty gust of wind come in and knock all of it down. So what we had set up did not work. It, it, well, we didn't have it fully set up yet. And so that was part of the problem. But the other part was it really wasn't reinforced enough even where it was set up. So I went and got some C-clamps for PVC pipe. And Matt is out here working on it now. I've been inside making bread and working on some homeschool stuff for this coming week. We took the week off from school because we were trying to get the garden ready and um, having family come up and everything. We just decided to take a break for a week. So we'll be getting back to it this coming week and I had some prep to do. But anyway, so Matt's out here and I wanted to show you what he's doing to reinforce it. And I'm going to insert here real quick a picture that he sent me while I was out running errands Wednesday morning when the gust came through and knocked everything over. He sent me a quick picture of how it all kind of fell. So I'll insert that here and then I'll show you what he's doing now. Okay, so the materials didn't get really damaged. Um, you can see like right here where it kind of tore through some of the stuff. Um, hi, sweetheart. Um, but really, it, it didn't sustain any damage. It just knocked it over. Hello, Facebook and all the peoples. Hello, Facebook and all the peoples. All right, he's over here working. And it is windy. So... Did you see that we had a couple sprouts? Oh, where'd they go? Yeah, there you go. We have a little bit of sprouts from what we planted the other day. Yeah. So he is reinforcing, you can see it in here, where he has used these clamps to help anchor the PVC pipe in place. We don't know if that'll help. We'll see how it goes. Um, the whole thing may not work, but we're going to give it our best and use what we've got. And hopefully it'll work well enough at least to get us to spring. So now that I have shown you that, this is going to be a short video. So I'm just going to end it here and we'll see you next time here on the farm. Thanks for joining us. Okay.